Okay, boys, here we go. Everything you've thought about business and success is backwards. Not only is it backwards, but it's making you a slave to your business or your work. And I want to share a very important distinction that enables you to be free from the shackles of entrepreneurship, the shackles of business, the shackles of work. This is a life-changing lesson. Everything you've thought about this is wrong. I'm gonna start with a question. Can a business be successful? This should be a really easy one. Yes or no? Now I've asked this question enough to know that all of you are saying the same thing. Yes, of course a business can be successful. Right? If a, you set a goal or objective, a revenue goal, a sales goal, and you meet those goals, you deliver to the clients, you're successful. Business is definitely successful. Well, I don't think so. I mean, the reason being is my definition for success, as you've heard in some previous videos, is completely different from what we've been conditioned to believe our entire life from a school system that's way out of date. We've been conditioned to believe that success is meeting a goal and uh, achieving it. Now, the problem with that is all of us meet the goal or objective and then set another one. So by that definition, it's impossible for us to ever actually achieve success. Ultimately, what success is for a human is an optimized daily experience. It's a feeling or emotion. Success is when we create an environment where we have this optimized daily experience. Like it's amazing and it's sustainable over time, right? So it's going to be amazing today and we're going to, it's going to be amazing tomorrow. It's going to be amazing three years from now. That's what true success is. When I know today's awesome, tomorrow's going to be awesome. And three years from now is going to be awesome. Guess what? I've arrived. I've been, I'm successful. Now, if success is an optimized daily experience that's sustainable over time, only humans can experience success. Businesses can't. And this is a critical aspect. Right, we go back to can a business be successful? No, a business cannot be successful because a business can't experience a positive daily experience, right? It's not possible. A business can be a tool to meet goals and objectives. A business can be a tool that produces feelings of success. So when we switch that up and say, wait, okay, if that's the case, then the purpose of my business is not to meet goals and objectives. The purpose of my business is very different. What is the purpose of a business? And the key purpose of a business is to produce feelings of success in its clients, its team members, and the owners. Now, what's amazing about this is this doesn't mean we forget about strategies and tactics, goals, objectives, sales numbers, all of those things, we don't get to forget about them. They're just not primary. They're a secondary. They're tools, they're processes and structures to enable us to create an environment where, once again, our clients have a positive daily experience that's sustainable over time, where the team members have a positive daily experience that's sustainable over time, where the owners have a positive daily experience that's sustainable over time. Think about it from this perspective. If you had a business that was operating in a way where its client's experience was awesome today and the clients knew that if I stay with this business, my, my future is gonna be awesome too. If you have team members that come to work and they're like, wow, today was amazing and tomorrow's gonna be really good too. And if the owners and executive team show up managing, excited, this is amazing, they have a good day and they know tomorrow's gonna be a good day. Do you think you have good sales? Yeah, probably. Do you have good processes for HR? Yes. Do you have good products that clients are enjoying? Yes. So notice those are all second order. What's amazing about this is when we do this, we free ourselves, right? Most of us, especially if you own a business, you I know you felt this, where most of us spend our time struggling, serving our business, right? Staying up late working on the weekends, checking our email when we should be paying attention to our, our children, you know, missing out on the first three days of vacation because our brain's constantly stuck on the work side, right? What is that? We are a slave to our business. We're a slave to our work. As soon as we ch change this, right? As soon as we say that a business's purpose is not to meet a goal or objective, a business's purpose is to optimize the daily experience of its clients, its team members, and its owners. Now, all of a sudden, the business's job is to serve us. We turn the tables on this. No longer are we the slaves to the business. The business is here to serve us.
that changes everything. And we know that if we focus on those optimized daily experiences of our clients first, our team members second, and the executive team and owners third, everything else falls in line. So this simple distinction is unbelievably elegant for changing your life. I know for Annie and I completely changed not only how we lived our lives, for many of you that knew us at the very beginning, we were known for working 12, 14 hours a day, six days a week, and we had an easy day on Sunday where we'd only work three or four hours. And you saw us work ourselves into the ground. And even though we were achieving what would be objective success, right? We were servicing a lot of people, we're making money, our lives were miserable, our, our daily experience was not what we wanted. And so even though that the business was meeting goals and objective, we didn't feel successful. When we switched it and all of a sudden started focusing on our clients' daily experience, our team members' daily experience, and our daily experience, not only did we start feeling the success and experiencing it, but on top of that, our sales went through the roof. We made more money. We were able to impact more people. And so it isn't mutually exclusive, right? Focusing on today, the key word is today's daily experience, but the key word is sustainable, right? How do we make that daily experience optimized and sustainable over time? When you do that, when you focus on your clients first, your team members second, and executives and owners third, you can't help but produce a business that not only produces results, but but also fulfills the purpose of producing feelings of success in its clients, its team members, and its owners. So go ahead and look, where are you struggling in your life? Where are you struggling in your business? Where is your business ruling you instead of you having the ability to have it serve you, your clients, and your team members? We got this as a team. We're going to produce this and we're here to support you in it. Be sure to subscribe for these videos. Be sure to hit the notifications icon. More importantly, be sure to reach out so we can support you and produce feelings of success in you, your clients and your team members. And in doing that, you fulfill our purpose of being able to impact your lives positively. <music>